Well, um, it looks like the weather's going to be really, really good as far as the, um, um, it's going to be warm for the first time in a long, long time. Uh, we have a terrific field this year. Um, Alabama, um, uh, Oregon, Baylor, uh, Colorado State are coming in. You know, they're going to be joining some other SEC and ACC teams. It's going to be one of the best fields we've had in a long time. I think the course is in great shape. Um, you know, I, I think it's, it's, it's uh, looking, shaping up to be a very, very good tournament, strong tournament, strong field. Um, and we're we're looking forward to playing. It, 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 we, uh, we will have all of our players back this week and we're excited about that. Well, we hoped it would be a top tournament, but uh, you never know when you start something out. But I, but with the support of uh, Jim Melvin and, and the Bryan Foundation, this has become one of the premier events in the country. And we're so grateful for him, to him and to his foundation for um, allowing us to, uh, to have this tournament and to really, it's a wonderful opportunity for all the students who come here and for women's collegiate golf. It's, uh, it's gotten a huge reputation. We've had uh, two former US, uh, two former players be US Open champions that played in this tournament and so it's we've had a, quite a few uh, stellar athletes come through here to go on to have wonderful careers. Well, I think it's going to be great for us to have our full team back this week and, and uh, see how everyone plays and, you know, just kind of build on it. Um, we've, we've had some great practices leading up to uh, this week, and we're just looking forward to um, having everyone be back in the lineup and, and, uh, and, and seeing how we compete and, and seeing what we need to get ready for the ACCs.